Welcome back. In this video, we're going to review single variable calculus. In your previous two calculus classes, you studied a very specific set of problems related to single variable calculus. At Foothill College, those first two calculus classes are known as Math 1A and 1B. In those classes, there is a specific storyline that you follow. All of single variable calculus studies the ordinary derivative operator which is called ordinary because it acts on single variable functions. In your first calculus class, you study what I like to call the forward problem of ordinary differentiation. At Foothill College, we called this Math 1A. And this was what we call ordinary differentiation the act of finding ordinary derivatives. In this forward problem, you take the ordinary derivative operator, which is what you constructed in Math 1a, you apply it to a given single variable mama function, and then the forward problem is to produce the baby function, which is an unknown and desired derivative. Notice, this was a single variable input, and that's a single variable output derivative. In the second calculus class, you study the reverse of this, which I will call the backward problem. At Foothill College, we call this Math 1B. Instead of ordinary differentiation, this is now called ordinary integration. The setup for this problem is actually strikingly similar to the forward problem. In particular, you start with the ordinary derivative operator. But instead of me giving you an input capital F of x function, and then you producing the derivative, I give you a derivative function that is, of course, single variable. And then you tell me what capital F of x function do you need to differentiate in order to produce this derivative function. In this case, the unknown and desired function is called the antiderivative. Of course, in your second calculus class, you used a little different notation. You said, hey, listen, the antiderivative function that I'm searching for 
should be able to be written as capital F of X and we'll produce this by taking the integral of lowercase f of x, the given derivative function, with respect to the variable x. The fact that it was ordinary or single variable means that there's only one variable involved. However, these are identical problems. They're the same exact problem. This one is written as a backward in the sense that I'm giving you the output and I'm asking you to find the input to the differentiation operator that produces that output. Here is the four problem because I'm giving you the input, you take the derivative, and then you find the output. If single variable function, single variable calculus focuses on taking derivatives of single variable functions, could you guess what multivariable calculus is going to be about? For more on this, I'll see you in the next video.